my people uh, I want to take a look at the latest happenings on the front lines because uh, yeah there's obviously been some happenings here you know oops sorry miscuse miscuse so the uh, right here in uh, Mikolaev has been the most action now recently and um, yeah they're trying to take back all this area and push into her son which is uh, more in the south you know and they're been bombing Odessa a lot from here So let's see what this strike was. Uh, I, I've been, I, I have posted a clip from this uh, this strike, so you can also see that on my channel. Uh, two people wounded by missile debris in Uman district. That's so fucking far in, yeah. And. Also, Kharkiv is in a lot of trouble because they they have 72 hour shift in the frontline trenches and yeah they have to stand there in the trenches and take uh, take return fire and fire back at them and uh, yeah you just never know if you're coming home again you know let's see un secretary general antonio guterres called for international in inspectors to be given access to the nuclear plant after ukraine and russia traded accusations over the cell uh, yeah 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 it's the shelling of the of the atomic plant the second one uh one person wounded as a result of Russian shelling in Kharkiv. So, it's uh, people are saying it's gonna go for a stalemate, but uh, the stalemate is not go really gonna be a stalemate because they're gonna throw artillery at each other all the time. But I'm really worried about Kharkiv because my feeling is that they're gonna take take more forces even from the northeast and put over here to send artillery from this side and they also have the russian area here where they can easily let, let's let's check the distance there from from russian border to here it's uh, 30 kilometers you can they can easily easily hit hit it you know and uh, yeah i wanna i also want to talk about moldova because they have a feeling that they're next and um, if the russians are if if the russians are m moving into nikolaev here or mikolaev then most likely they're going to they're going to try to move into odessa but I have I already have a feeling that it's not gonna be that they're gonna cross over here when they're coming with by this road they're not gonna use this road because they bombed this bridge here and um, I actually t 
think they're gonna, gonna do a counter offensive more to the south here, you know. But that might also be stupid. Um, yeah, but also the Russian counteroffensive is coming from here also. So that's going to be interesting to see how it's going to play out. Um, yeah, and like I talked about before, we have uh, what's very important in this region, if they take Kherson, they're going to have some key key mm, let's see they're going to have some key uh, airports this airport and it's not really far away now 36 kilometers so they have already pulled out from this from this uh, airports because they can be hit from the high mars weapon systems and look at all all of these airports can russian uh, russians lose just because of the range you know they already had to move back back quite a bit you know but you know one thing would have been awesome to take down this bridge right here so, bottom line, the focus is going to be the Herson, and they're doing all, the Ukrainians are doing all the prep work now for the counteroffensive. They've been taking out, uh, like we've all been watching in the news, they've been taking out ammunition depot, command centers, forward operating bases, and they've been doing a fucking great job, you know. So we, we just can't stop. So, but the thing to be watch, watching in the upcoming days now is uh, the, this one here. Kharkiv. Mykolaiv. We have to watch. And uh, I also have a feeling if they can... If the Russians can get there, I how highly doubt it. Uh, then I feel actually Ukrainians have a shot at taking actually all these back. So it's gonna be fucking exciting to see. So, my audience, what what do you guys uh, think? Um, how are the counter offenses uh, gonna go? Are we? Uh, do you think Ukraine are gonna pull out, pull off, and taking her son back? And uh, I also wonder what you guys think are. The Ukrainians gonna be able to defend Kharkiv. They have my fullest support. I will never stop supporting them, and they want to support their country. We need other democratic lands need to support them as long as they want. Um. Yeah. And uh, I'm embarrassed of Norway because they really haven't stepped up too much, you know. I'm fucking embarrassed that I even served in that army, you know. Just because of that. Because it's not really the army's fault, it's the fucking bu bu bureaucracy bullshit. So, hey, thank you for listen listening to my little rant here. You know... Yeah, what else can I say? Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, support my work. I'm grinding my ass off here. So I would really appreciate it, you guys. And drop the likes.
Peace out. See you in the next video.